Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Enjoy and I'm about to just and speak on it. If you're seeing this pretty face for the first time, don't make it your last by clicking on the red subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications so that you're notified once I post a new video. And don't forget to give, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it. And if you're returning back to my channel, thank you for being here. I really appreciate your presence. So guys, you know, usually I like to come on here and talk about anything trending on social media and anything I basically want to talk about that really um bothering me that's why i just come over here and talk about and i really try i really try to avoid talking about you know nigeria situation so much but the truth is that every day like it is on your face you can't help but just talk about it just address it you know and just basically connect with other people relate to other people that is in the same situation you know with you and also i come across this video on insta blog instagram insta blog uh, we're blogging in nigeria popular blog in nigeria so basically this video is of um of people that reside in delta states you know so so these people they were harvesting a cow that died last week see this no so the story around this is that these people this cow died last week in Egota and somehow they discovered this cow and they are harvesting it to eat it and these people they are not even aware of what killed this cow they don't know whether this cow had a disease and this cow died of this disease they do not care they're just harvesting this cow you know in order to eat to feed themselves and their family and I do not find anything wrong with what they are doing because I don't know I found something wrong with it and I do not find something wrong with it because you cannot see just like when you put something for a hungry person and you tell the person not to eat when you put something for money for a poor person or maybe someone that is starving you know food is literally staring at the person's face and you tell the person not to eat the food it's very impossible the person will definitely gather the food and he will eat he or she will definitely eat the food it's just like a trap set for the person they will definitely go for where the food is and eat the food so but this boils down to the issue of nigeria like the poverty in the land the lack of unemployment the lack of accountability you know decaying society we live in in fact the 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 the, the See, there are so many phrases and there's so many words, you know, to use to describe whatever the issue in Nigeria. But anytime I, I talk, I don't like, I really do not like to, I try as much as possible, you know. Usually I have this app, I have Punch News, I had Sun, you know, I had all this app that, you know, once the news drop, you get, you know, you're, the, you, you're aware, you're going, you're checking, you're reading. But I discovered at a point when I open the app and I read about so 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 money is embezzled, we are collecting this loan, we are collecting that loan, some people were kidnapped, 
this and that. You know, I was just getting all this news and it was so depressing because you would think that, you know, after so many years, or if you think that as day goes by, that things will get better. But the reality is that nothing gets better. Things keep getting worse. And you keep seeing situations that you keep asking yourself, what is the way forward? What is, what is, what is, what is to be done? Because we don't, you don't see yourself coming out of this hole. You don't see yourself coming out of this destructive society we live in. You don't see any way forward. And it's so disturbing. It's so alarming. It's so bothersome that, you know, in as much as we, in as much as this society is messed up, you see the people that are to be people accountable, the people that should be held accountable, people that are responsible for our society, you see them, you know, chasing after things that are inconsequential. Like you see them going after things like banning Twitter. Why would you ban Twitter? Twitter is like a source of livelihood for so many Nigerians. Twitter is like a source of way people communicate with others. Twitter is like a sort of way people, you know, people don't have freedom, people have freedom of expression. People that don't have means to let their opinions have. This is the platform for them to let make their opinions hurt to other people. Why do you think that this is the appropriate thing to do when there are other issues that we have as a society? We have people eating dead cow that was that has died last week. They are harvesting the cow to go and share with their family. This cow can be infected. This cow can have one or two diseases that can be a source of one illness that maybe we've never had it before, you know, that can actually be spread to other people. Like, we we'll have serious issues we can deal with. Twitter is not our problem. Banning Twitter is not our problem. All these petty, petty things are not our problem. What is the issue? Because you feel that your ego is being people, you know, because Twitter deleted your, 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 your comments that, that was you know, that was inciting violence. That's why, you know, you have to go on all this, uh, let's ban Twitter, let's stop Nigerians from going to Twitter, let's stop people from tweeting. When we have real issues, when we have real issues we need to talk on, when we have real issues we need to resolve, then it's Twitter we are focusing on. See, I don't really like talking about Nigerian situation, but once in a while, I just, it, it, I, I just have to talk about it because if you don't talk about it, you know, you will stay with it and it will be bothering you and you can't just, you just have to let it out, okay? That is just it. I just hope, I just hope that there is a way forward. I just hope that we can get to that because no matter what, I still believe in Nigeria. I still have family. I still have family. Even if I, I intend to, at the point, leave Nigeria, at the end of the day, I'll still have people. You know, loved ones that will still remain here. So I still want us to get to that place whereby things will get better. I still want us to get to that place whereby, you know, we, do, we wouldn't open our social media and we'll be seeing all these crazy things that you keep wondering, like, what is really, really, what are we really going to do? Like, what, what is the way forward? What, what should be our hope? You, you guys understand where I'm coming from? Leave your comments in the comment section about this because I really feel, I don't know how to feel about this, but I think it's, poverty is one of the issues. It's, it's one of the issues we have in Nigeria and it's, it's, a cause for, it's a cause for action. Poverty is a cause for alarm. Honestly, it's a cause for alarm because poverty is a cause of so many issues we have in Nigeria. And if, there, if it is tackled, a lot, a lot of issues will be solved. If it is tackled, a lot of issues will be solved. I was pained. I was pained. I saw this video. I was pained in my heart. But at the same time, I wanted to say, this people, are, this people are stupid. Why would they go for? Why would they harvest a dead cow to take to their families to eat? But on the same hand, I said, I told myself, this people, it's possible they've not had meat in a long time. It's possible they've not had opportunity of enjoying themselves this way. Like, why would I want to blame them when, you know, in other advanced countries, people that are living beyond the love poverty margin, they get provided for by the government. Well, while in this country, nobody cares about whether you're surviving. Nobody cares about however, whatever you are. Nobody just cares about anything, you know. The people that are supposed to protect, the people that are supposed to, you know, take care of people. Nobody cares about any anybody. Like, you're, you're on your own. You provide your electricity, you provide your water, you provide literally everything for yourself without nobody. Oh my god see eh, i'm moving on from my just situation i just hope that something is done i just hope that something is done and it's done fast because 
If not, if not, let's leave it there. So moving on. So moving on, I saw this video of uh, the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, getting slapped by a citizen. Watch the next clip. Oh! Oh! Was it just on no? So literally this guy <laughs> got upset to the extent that he had to slap his own president. Well I think he's slapping the wrong president. I don't know whether there is a way we can fly him down here. Since he has so much, you know, he has so much guts. I think he's channeling his energy in the wrong direction. Why don't he channel some of that energy down here? <laughs> well, see, I'm not, I'm not a preacher of violence, but things can really get frustrating sometimes, and um, you're wondering, like, what, 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 what is, what? If I, you, you like, you literally feel like, you know, beating up someone. Like, you literally feel like let something bad happen and let things get better probably anything bad that can take away these people from you know being the people from being the people in charge of our country honestly honestly but at the end of the day i don't support violence i feel like the guy who was being very disrespectful he was being very you know, he lacks home training because I don't know how somebody will go and slap their own president. Like, this person can literally end your life, can literally make your life miserable. Like, how do you guys come up with things like this? Some people really have gods, honestly. It's just that my own is that he's channeling the gods in the wrong direction. I do not support violence. I do not support violence, but he's still channeling that energy in the wrong direction. As a matter of fact, when I saw that video, like, I didn't know whether to laugh. I didn't know whether to, like, if you we take with the guy i was just having mixed emotion but i know one thing is that he's channeling that energy in the wrong direction he should channel that energy down to nigeria and come on you know since they are so much liver he should channel the energy to nigeria okay guys that's not just what i have that's all for today guys that's all for this video i just came on here to talk about this this messed up situation like it's really really messed up guys let me know what you guys think think in the comment section leave your comments below let me know what you guys think okay so that is all for today guys okay don't forget to like subscribe and give this video a thumbs up all right so i'll see you next time don't forget to pray for nice day bye